Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. Today I wanted to be talking about bed rest, or more specifically, tips for surviving bed rest. For those of you going through this right now, I am so sorry. I know how difficult it is, and I know that none of these tips will fix it. But hopefully they can help to make it just a little bit more bearable. So without further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one, Netflix. Now I know that this is probably on every other bed rest survival tip video, but it's for good reason. Netflix or any other subscription service where you can get all the shows will be your bread and butter, trust me. The days are long and the bedroom is small. This is like a little window into the outside world that you can escape into even for just a little bit of time every day. While you're at it, consider an unlimited internet package, trust me. Tip number two, your own form of motivation. What is this? Whatever the hell you want it to be. For me, it was a blanket that my mom had crocheted uh, that I knew I was gonna be giving to the girls. So when I was sad or when I was scared, I just imagined them in this blanket and me being able to give it to them and being able to cuddle them and it just made it a little bit easier. I also had motivational quotes taped to my nightstand so I could see them when I woke up first thing in the morning. I also pretty much looked at them all day every day. They were actually sent to me by amazing friends who are more like family. They actually sent me motivational quotes for every day and every week that I was on bed rest. So I just picked two that I really, really felt motivated by and I taped them up and they really made a world of difference. Tip number three, wipes, glorious wipes. I don't know what the rules are for your bed rest, but I was unable to get up and shower every day or even every other day, and I felt disgusting. I used these to just give myself a little freshen up. It made me feel a little more human. This, in combination with getting dressed every day, even if your clothes look a little bit like your pajamas, will help improve your mood, I promise. Tip number four, a diffuser. Now this might seem like a little bit of a frivolous suggestion, but I'm telling you, it helped me tons. So it helps add moisture to the air with all the water diffusing, bonus for your skin. It adds a little scent to the air and freshens up the room, bonus for your nose. And it can even be therapeutic depending on what essential oils you choose to diffuse. Just make sure that whatever ones you're choosing are safe for pregnancy. Tip number five, water bottles. I suggest multiple. I suggest big ones and I suggest ones with straws. This is all so that it makes it as easy as possible for you to get lots of water in while you're lying in bed. I say multiple because I had one on each side of me. True story. This was so that I could make sure I was still drinking water no matter which side I was lying on. Because as I got advanced in pregnancy with twins, turning over to get water was asking a lot. Okay guys, final tip. What are we at now? Number six? Final tip number six, a subscription to Audible or podcast that you enjoy, something that you can listen to. Now I love to read, but this got really challenging for me when I was reading thicker books because it was just super uncomfortable to be holding this ginormous book while lying on my side. Enter Audible, I could just press play, and it was just an alternate way for me to get my reading in, even though I wasn't technically reading, uh, and not be super uncomfortable while doing it. Okay, so that is it for now. I hope that this helps somebody out there. If you are on bed rest and you are going through this right now, I am so sorry. I know how difficult that this is for you. And I know it's not the cakewalk or the dream situation that others that haven't been through it might think that it is. I know that your days are filled with worry about your pregnancy and just stress and anxiety and emotions. While I know that these tips can't fix the problem, I hope that they offer even just a glimmer of hope or a glimmer of help for you while you're on this journey. If you need any support or have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to be there for you.